Hey guys, 3 new Talking Reviews here, back with another video. In this video, we will be doing a Twig Collection. I'd like to introduce another member of our squad. Um, I'm Sam, and I play on the same hockey team as Jack, and I'm really good friends with these guys, and yeah, so let's get into the video. Uh, first of all, I have a Warrior QRL, which I just recently got about, uh, about a week ago, and I really like it so far. I've only played a couple games, and I've been on the ice numerous times in that time in that time span, but overall I really like the stick so far and I'm excited for the future with it. Here I got my primary stick. It's 1X. Uh, not the newest one though, but I really love the stick. It's a 67 flex P92 Li6 and it's got a lot of flex and I can really get a good shot off with it. Uh, here I've got a stick I've had for quite a while now. It's a uh, Nexus 1000. I used it for quite a while last year. It was a good stick. However, I started using Burp sticks and I can't get used to the uh, non grip anymore. It was a P92 52 Flex. Good stick. Um, second, uh, I have my custom Bauer MX3. As you can see, it's got silver instead of or, or, uh, yellowish orange. And it's got my name branded on it, and it's a P106, which is a rare curve, but you can get it on mybower.com. And it's 67 flex, and I don't use the stick anymore since I just recently got my QRL, but I really liked it while I had it. Here, I use this stick mainly for my backup. It's a Total One NXG. Uh, I didn't use it much because I just got it for a month and I got my 1X for Christmas, but uh, still a great stick, uh, 67 Flex Intermediate, uh, P92 and Li6, and I still love it. Alright, uh, here I've got Ultra Tax. I used this almost all of last season until the blade chipped really bad. And it is a uh, 50 flex Crosby curve. I now just use it for shooting in my garage with uh, some hockey pads. Um, and for my last stick, I have the Warrior Diablo, which was was a great stick while I had it, but I don't use it on the ice anymore. And usually, I just play around with it in my garage. But I really like like the feel of it and the dagger taper on it. And yeah, it's original and. It's one of the best sticks I've had, but it's nothing to compare to my QRL. Here, believe it or not, I have an Alter Tax, except I customized it because I was bored one day. So I made it all black. It's still pretty sick. If I can remember right, I had a 65 flex uh, Crosby curve and Li6, and uh, it's still a great stick. All right. Here I have a uh, Easton RS2. I bought two of these last year on a buy one get one free sale on Hockey Monkey, and it was the worst decision I ever made. Uh, it's a uh, Hall Curve 45 Flex uh, Y 4.5, and I absolutely hate it. The Y sucks, the curve sucks, and the grip sucks. So yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I recently just picked this up. It's the Bauer Supreme MX3 Limited Edition. Uh, I just used it in my first game the other day. It's pretty good. It has a nice curve, nice puck feel to it, and I'm going to enjoy using it in the future. Alright, so here are my last two twigs in the collection. This one here is my backup stick. It was very, very nice. It's a EK60 Sherwood. It's a uh, 55 flex intermediate and it is a Bobby Ryan curve. Very nice stick. And lastly, to finish off the collection, I've got my current stick. I got this about a week and a few days ago. It is a Bauer 1X 2016 edition. Uh, this here is a 60 flex Patrick Kane curve P88. And really balanced, nice flex. And I really like the stick blade to it. Very nice stick. Um, that wraps everything up, guys, but it was 
fun having you here, and it was a great year. It was a great experience for us to share our sticks with you. And uh, that's that's it, I guess. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.